Uh, my name is Jono Korodudu. Um, I'm from a village called Onicholona, a lovely village in Delta State. Um, I'm a graduate of political science and international relations. Uh, I'm also a psychiatric clinician. Uh, I'm an aesthetician. Um, I graduated about the, I mean, in 1981, did my youth service in 1981 stroke 82. I'm 56 years old. Um, I'm a mother, wife, what else? I'm the owner of Nigeria's next supermodel, uh, who is now the most successful model search out of the continent of Africa. I'm all, I also own Isis Models, which is very popular all over the world now. I uh, own um, Equas Fashion Week. I signed a, a, a three years contract with Equas Secretariat, the president of Equas. I own Africa International Fashion Week. And, uh, the one that, I've really, um, that I'm really happy with is the, my recent three years uh, contract with Vogue Italia. Uh, the January issue of Vogue Italia, you will see our profile there, you know. And um, um, I also own House of Jola. So basically, um, I do a whole bunch of stuff. And Nigeria's next supermodel came first. Uh, I went to New York for the Ford model search. I accompanied uh, Lexi Mojo and uh, at the show I just realized that, ah, I mean, we could do something like this in Nigeria. So when I came back, I spoke to Lexi and uh, I decided to do a model search, uh, but I didn't want to pay Tyra Banks, you know, all the big money, and you know, and you know what it costs. I mean, you do the first show and you know, there's a problem, you know, constantly giving these people money. And uh, I told myself, no, I'm not gonna go pay for America's Next Top Model. I'm gonna create mine. So I decided to call it Nigeria's Next Supermodel. And now we're doing Ghana. Ghana Next, so everybody's getting their own little franchise. So I'm, I'm kind of doing what Tyra Banks is, is doing, but you know, in a different way. Believe me, if I had support of this government, of this country, if this country could have backed me with Nigeria's next supermodel, oh, we would have conquered Africa by now. Because we would get from, look at how long it took me to get into Ghana. And then, of course, Uganda is talking, you know, we're thinking Kenya and Cameroon. How long it took me? Eight years. But if I had the resources, I mean, I would have unleashed terror. In, in, I would have, to tell you the truth, I would have shown the world that. It can be done. The first runner up of Nigeria's next world of 2014 is me. It's a better than you and the winner. The winner of the Nigeria's next supermodels. Well, ISIS models just came out of the blues. Um, we went to New York, I mean, uh, to South Africa, and we were supposed to, um, we wanted to actually join all models. You know, we're back and forth, back and forth with all models when all models were still existing. Um, and, um, you know, they weren't really answering me on time. So when we got to, to Joburg, I was expecting that, okay, we'll just work with all models. And, uh, you know, I wasn't very comfortable with the way things was going. And uh, at that time, um, um, Juliet Morgan was working with me in Joburg. And, I mean, went with me to Joburg. And we both looked at ourselves and said, she said, ah, Auntie, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I said, I'm going to go and register a modeling agency. We actually first registered mode models. And the second choice was Isis. Isis is from my name, Isioma. And I just added S, and that was it. Isis was born. And the models now went to do the shows on the Isis. And I remember having seven models in one show. And people were like, who are these, you know? So uh, I think um, I'm glad I set up Isis. Um, uh, recently, uh, Bumi went for casting in New York, to one of the biggest castings. And then uh, she was picked alongside with some Victoria's Secret girls. And she did one of the biggest shows, The Sigua, and became the face of Mark for SS15, you know, which she was paid handsomely. 
But you know, the fact that I took an agency out of the continent of Africa, took it to New York, registered it in New York, and we're working with it in New York. So when we go, we don't have to start rushing and looking for agency. You know, I'm, I'm also an American citizen, so it's a bit easy for me. Well, I think, I don't know, some people will kill me. But I think fashion, you know, is, um, I think a lot of people do, do too much. You know, uh, I, I remember in January, I was at uh, Mizani show and so many of the shows. And these people just come in with black pants, black top, you know, white top, you know, they're not overdressed. But, you know, in Nigeria, maybe it's, it's because of where we come from, you know. Well, I think we sometimes get to overdress too much. You know, I think we need to tone down on fashion. There's one thing I always tell people. It is very difficult for you to bring someone who is hard working down because they are 10 steps ahead of you. So instead of having this energy elsewhere and just trying to do some crap, dedicate the energy in trying to better yourself. That's the advice I'll give to the young and upcoming ones. Because I'm happy.